What's up, Wayne Barron here with darkfix.net, and we are inside of Microsoft Visual Studio 2012. So what we're going to look at is we're looking at a project by Nadim. I think that's how you pronounce your first name anyway. And what it is is that he's having some issues. So we're going to actually take a look at his project, and he followed my video lesson on how to do the insert into Access Database. First, let's go ahead and run the project and let's go ahead and bring it up over here and we're going to try to insert a record and we're going to get this error right here syntax error and in insert into statement so let's go ahead and take a look at all of the issues that we can find okay so our database right here my data so that right there is correct let's come over here and let's take a look at our first thing we're going to go into our source code and as you can see, it's automatically going to put a green squiggly line up underneath the word password. This is your name. Okay, if you got a beginning quote, you got to have an ending quote. So you got to put that in yonder, and then that's automatically going to give you a non arrowed page. Okay, now we're going to look at something else. We have a button right here that does not need to be here. So this needs to be removed. And then we're going to save that file. So now our page is going to run without having any type of error issues in it. Also, the button was actually inside the password field, believe it or not. But that's where it actually showed up whenever I debugged it earlier. And so now we're going to come into here. So now that we know that our password is going to pass... We got to look at some more things here. So our database is already set, so we don't have to worry about it. However, we need to look into our insert into statement. Okay, now we already know that our password, let's change that from capital to lowercase. Password is a reserved word for access. If we was to run it, we would have to run it like so with brackets around. However, he is doing it without the password he's doing it as pass so pass is not a reserved word however you, you do got to come down here and change this to make this to where it matches that so these two have got to match okay so but we have one more issue and that is our table name our table is actually a reserved word user is a reserved word from access so we got two ways of doing this we can actually wrap a bracket, oops, we can wrap a bracket around it and it will run that way or we can rename it. So let's go ahead and run it with a bracket wrapped around it. It's going to load it up and then we're going to say hello there today and press the button and there we go. It entered it successfully and we go inside of the database right over here, click and hello there today is our new user that we've just added in. That is how you resolve the issue, Nadim. And I hope that this will help everybody else out. Remember, you have to pay attention to the Access Database reserved words. SQL Server also has reserved words. Near about every database out there has reserved words and you got to wrap brackets. Certain databases do it differently. However, Microsoft Access and SQL Server have brackets around theirs. I am Wayne Barron. This is DarkEffects.net inside of Microsoft Visual Studio. Y'all have a good one now. I hope this helped. Bye-bye.